everyone and welcome to my channel and today's makeover was probably one of the most requested in the comments under my videos because today we are going to make a rocker girl and my model of the week will be such a good a Yelps doll and I think that all this punk rock style will fit really good to her face mold and a little bit to the character of this doll and what is the most important about this video that I'm going for the very first time in my doll artist career try applying tattoos on dolls. I have already some idea in my head how I'm going to do it and let's hope it's all gonna work and in the end of this video this Gulia doll will be full of tattoos. So I really can't wait to, to try it all and I really hope that it's gonna work. So let's go! So first I need to remove her clothes and the accessories and I see that this used doll still has original plastic pins that hold the headband and I see it quite often with secondhand dolls. It means their previous owners used to play with them for years maybe and never even managed to remove the original accessories. This is so weird for me. When I got a new doll, I took all the original clothes and accessories off in the first two hours probably and tried 50 new looks and hairstyles, tried to get the real character of the doll. For me it was all about changing doll's looks. Today she's a doctor for example, tomorrow a student and then it's her wedding day. And this Gulli had long and boring first life wearing the same plastic ears for years. And while I was complaining, I have quite progressed in destroying her old look. I took her head off and I used a hair dryer like always to do it and then I used pure acetone to remove her face. And then I prepare her body as well. First I sand it with nail buffers, then I clean it with an acetone free nail polish remover and then I spray both the face and the body with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. You asked me to tell you when exactly to use this sealant, so I will put an icon with it in the corner of the screen every time when I seal my work. And every time I lay the surface dry for at least 30 minutes. Then I'm going to make her skin tone more alive and to neutralize her original grey skin tone. I first apply a layer of pink pastels on top of it and then I seal this layer. And then I apply a layer of light brown pastels on top of pink and then I seal it again. Then I take my watercolor pencils and I sketch the eyes. With soft pastels and with a piece of an eraser I sketch like always the eyebrows. And before start contouring, I seal her face again to protect the sketch of her new face and to not smudge the lines and the eyebrows while doing the next layers. And while I'm applying shadows and blush to her face, I think I have time to answer some of your questions that I've picked up from the comments under my videos. And the first one is from Crystal McIntosh. Did you used to be a makeup artist? No, I've never really worked as a makeup artist, but I really love makeup and for me it's probably something like my biggest hobby now, since the doll business has become a real job for me. I love watching beauty bloggers, it's a real relaxation for me, and I love creating new looks on my own face. 
If I wasn't a doll artist, I would probably become a makeup artist. And I'm planning maybe to show some looks from my doll repaint videos on my own face. And then everyone can use it for their own cosplay looks, for example. Then I took a couple of questions about the supplies. The first one is where I buy my pencils, pastels and all other stuff. Honestly, I'm so lazy that I order absolutely everything online. Nowadays they're ready to deliver everything at your door. Why not use this beautiful opportunity? Lately I've ordered even a tiny single eraser gum online and no problem, the next day it was in my mailbox. And the next question is about purchasing Mr. Super Clear Sealant. We're talking really a lot about this spray in my videos, so where it comes from? I know it's a problem in many countries to get this sealant because it comes from Japan. I buy it in a Belgian online shop called Passion132. I will link their website here down below this video. I'm not sponsored by them and I'm not really sure if they ship everything from their store worldwide. But at least their banner says worldwide shipment, so maybe it will work for some of you and you can check it at least. And then someone called I Hate People asks if I use pure acetone or a nail polish remover with acetone to remove those makeup. I always use pure acetone. Some nail polish removers with acetone work as well, but not all of them and you will have to rub quite hard. So I recommend pure acetone if you don't want to smear the old face all over the doll. So it was the Q&A part for today and now let's get back to my doll. I'm already done with contouring and blushing and I work on her face with my Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. And I also don't forget to seal her face quite regularly to protect my work. I want to give her purple eyes and also purple smoky makeup. And her lips I want to make very dark blue, almost black. It's very useful to use such a cleaning gum to remove pastel powder from the eyeballs and from other areas that you want to keep clean when you are working with dark pastels. Before applying highlights, after using lots of dark soft pastels like we did just now for her smoky eyes, I seal the face twice to protect the pastels very good, otherwise the white pencil might smear it off. And it also requires more than one layer of highlights and the color accents to make them good visible on a dark background.
Then I draw the bottom eyelashes with a very sharp pencil and after this I seal the paste twice. And then I add the brightest highlights with white acrylic paint. And this final layer I seal again with two layers of Mr. Super Clear. Now let's start working on her body and this time it's gonna be quite exciting. The body is already buffered and sealed, so now I need to blush and shade it in the same way like I colored her face already. And now let's apply the tattoos. I've got here some insane amount of water stickers for nail design and I think I will be able to make just ideal tattoos using them. I just need to find the cool designs and to place them good. This doll will wear such a leather top so I put it on already to see where to place the pictures on her skin. Easy. I need to make the picture wet for a couple of seconds and then I can remove the very thin top layer of it and to apply it on the doll skin. And this is how it looks in the end. Now I'm protecting all the tattoos with another two layers of the sealant and now our doll is almost ready. I just need to put the head and the body back together, make a wig for her, attach the false lashes and to add glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips. And now let's finally take a look at her outfit. I think this time my mom has made just some masterpiece rock costume. Look at all those chains and spikes on her pants. This leather is very soft and I need to be very careful to not make a hole in them. And this top you've seen already? Then comes the tiny leather jacket.
And I think she also needs some black shoes to complete the look. And here is the final result of our makeover today. I think she looks like a better version of herself because of the dark lipstick in the both versions, probably. It's like an emo girl has become a rock star or something. I really had a lot of fun playing with her tattoos and I'm really happy with the end result of them. I should for sure keep making those with tattoos because I still have the whole pack of such a tiny water stickers. And by the way, have anyone count how many layers of the sealant I've applied today? Write your answers here down below. And it was my video of this week, next week Friday I will be here again with my new Dory Paint video, so be sure you subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video today. And I will see you already very soon in my new Dory Paint video. Bye!